Hey folks, this is Dre with Cover One Drones back here with you again. And I'm always trying to help out my fellow drone pilots out there, try to solve the problems that we may have. It. There's been a few hiccups that have come to my attention uh, concerning the Mavic 2 Pro uh, remote ID uh, installation. Like I always say, it's always the uh, details you have to be concerned about. What I've been hearing about and reading about is the 180 era code that has been popping up on uh, smart controller screens. So we're going to deep into that, and I'm going to take you step by step on what to do to resolve this issue. Like I say, first of all, uh, you want to make sure you get your smart controller out, make sure you have uh, it's at least 50% or more charged. Same thing with your drone. Uh, make sure it has a battery in it. Make sure it's at least 50% charge. And also, you want to make sure you have a good Wi-Fi signal anytime you're doing an update on your drones. So that's what we're going to be doing today is doing an update. Now, what I'm going to show you here is some of the steps you need to go through. Uh, one of the first steps, we're going to turn the drone on, turn the uh, smart controller on, and go from there. Now, when I talked to the DJI rep uh, this afternoon, they told me to go into the file, well, not that, I'm sorry, the Lightning browser, okay? The Lightning browser is where you want to go. Once you do Lightning browser, by default, unless you have changed it, would take you straight to the DJI uh, support staff page. When you get that support staff page, you're going to want to scroll down to down to the bottom to where it says support. And I'm going to put pictures in here so you can know exactly where you're going so you don't get lost in this. Okay. Once you hit support, it's going to take you to another page on uh, which uh, area you want to go to. You want to go to where it says apps. Okay. You want to go to the apps and then go down to the bottom again and go to uh, support. Or I'm sorry, it should take you to the page showing you all the apps that it has for DGI products. You want to scroll down until you get to the one that says uh, DGI Go For uh, App, the Go For App. You're going to click on that, and then it will start the download process onto your smart controller. You get the little arrow pointing down at the top left corner of your screen, and that will proceed for maybe, I would say, maybe two, three, maybe four minutes tops, depending on your speed of your Wi-Fi at your house or whatever device you're using to get internet access with, okay? Once that is installed on the controller, you want to go ahead and uh, look for the file. It may be in your download folder. If not, do a quick swipe down to where it shows your uh, settings page, and you'll see the little uh, exclamation point and a red red little uh, bubble. You want to tap on that, and it will show you the download file there. Once you download files there, it'll tell you what it is. It'll say it's the APK file, whatever the case may be. You want to tap on that, and it will go through the install process. The install process takes roughly about, like I said, depending upon your Wi-Fi speed. Mine, it only took, I think, less than a minute to uh, download and install. Uh, onto the controller. And once it did that, uh, we were pretty much good to go. It'll tell you once it's installed to open up the app, uh, the complete app again. And that's what I did. Open the app up again. Went over to the... Uh, Three dots, scroll all the way down to the about section, uh, click on that, and then you can scroll to see where it was. It used to be 4.3.54. Now it should read 4.360. And that will resolve your 180 error issue if you're getting that on your smart controller. Um, and what the problem is, is that every sometimes when you're doing the full install, 
on the on the drone with the new update, it does not go through the process of changing the uh, or installing, I should say, the updated the, the updated app. Uh, on one of my drones, it did with no problems. On my second Mavic 2 Pro, it didn't do it. So I had to go through these steps to make sure it was up to date. So there you go. Those who are getting the 180 era, which I know has been a few. So there's your procedures to correct that. And I uh, hope you have some uh, pleasant, happy flying in the future. Once again, this is Dre recovering my drones. As I always say, hang on, enjoy the ride. Please subscribe, drop a comment. I'm only here to help those who want to be helped and uh, keep everybody flying. Talk to you later. Bye.